Well, hey there guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, show you guys how to uh, do some uh, sculpting uh, on, a, on a model. Um, in, in this particular case, I'm going to be working on adding flames to a body of a car that I'm uh, in the process of building for uh, for Gasland. And uh, I picked up this uh, package of um, green stuff. Uh, basically, it's uh, very similar to, a, it's the same thing as what you used to buy at like uh, Games Workshop uh, years ago. Um, in fact, uh, it's actually been a, a, an extremely long time since uh, I've actually used this stuff. But, uh, and uh, yeah, keep it away from uh, children. That's a very good, um, very good warning. But uh, yeah, the, this stuff, uh, I don't think it's, it's not really good to be eating uh, any of this stuff really. So, um, so good point. So anyway, um, yeah, um, basically this is the, uh, the, uh, car that I'm working on. You might've seen this in a previous video. Uh, I was going to, uh, do a, an engine swap and, um, I hadn't quite got to it yet, but it's basically been on my, uh, to-do list and, uh, I took all the paint off uh, and this thing looks amazing. Uh, you know, it just actually looks nice just the way it is. I'm, Sometimes I'm just I'm just mesmerized how some of the Hot Wheels bodies look with no paint on it. Um, anyways, um, so just yeah, you know, on 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 packaging this stuff, you want you want to like break off a, a little bit of, of equal parts of uh, of the blue stuff, which is a little more uh, sturdier, I guess, than than the yellow. And the yellow is definitely really soft. And uh, what you want to do is you want to mix the two uh, halves together and uh, get it really green, basically. Um, and uh, so it gets really sticky um, as well, but uh, you know, once you uh, sculpt and you know, um, kind of figure out what you, what you, what you want to make out of, the, out of this stuff, it's gonna, um, it's gonna harden and uh, then you're gonna be able to paint on it. So some things you can do is uh, to smooth it because it does actually pick up your fingerprints uh, pretty well. Um, you're going to want to have a little bit of like maybe some water nearby. If you want to like have a smooth surface, you could just kind of uh, use the water. Or um, another trick is to use kind of like the side of your finger just to kind of really smooth it out. So uh, instead of just like being very tactful uh, and leaving a print, you can kind of go on along the side and smooth smooth things out. So uh, anyways, at the time of the video, I, I, I don't have my... Um, didn't have a, my sculpting set handy. I actually have a, a set of like, um, I think they're more for like a dent, like dentistry uh, sculpting tools. Um, I know I got them off online years ago and uh, I couldn't find them, but you know, if you can't find them, you can use a, an X-Acto knife uh, basically to help um, move the green stuff in the direction that you want and uh, start to, you know, kind of mold the shape. So. Uh, what I had done is uh, basically after you mix the uh, green stuff together and uh, you could stretch it <clears throat> if you're doing flames like I'm doing here um, You know flames are not really meant to be really really thick. So I'm going to try uh, basically just getting this first uh, side done um, And uh, what you're going to want to do also is when you lay it on the model You're going to want to like kind of spread a little bit at the base just to kind of get it to attach uh, properly one thing you can also do with the green stuff is you can mix it or secure like say if you build something separately you can you can use um uh, crazy glue to to attach it um or you can kind of do it right from from the get-go as well but um uh, it's, it's kind of depends on what you want but what i'm doing basically is uh you know with fire i mean it's it goes in different directions so you know as as you make it uh, very thin and pliable you can also um like, you know, kind of grab pieces and, and pull it or, or uh, you know, put some like, um, just some markings with the with the blade. But yeah, I mean, pulling it will, you know, kind of stretch it out. I figure that the fire is going to be kind of just hanging off the back of the of the model. And, you know, what you're going to want to do is just make it look really uh, random. Um, and if you get a little extra bits uh, coming off, which you probably will, um, you could always try to incorporate it back on so you're not you know, really wasting any of this stuff. I mean, you bought, you bought, you bought it, you might as well just use the whole, uh, you know, use the whole thing. So, um, anyway, so yeah, I mean, as you can see, I'm getting it kind of, um, you know, spread around and just kind of, kind of pulling it just to really make like 
cool looking uh, flames and uh, this will harden and um, look pretty good. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, once this is, this side is done, I'll, I'll wait and uh, I'll go, I'll go ahead and do the other side uh, at another time, you know, just in case I accidentally um, hit this side and have to do it all over again. Definitely don't want to botch it, um, you know, after getting it sort of the right way uh, the very first time. And again, I haven't actually tried this in probably uh, 15 years, <laughs> maybe even longer than that. So uh, yeah, so it's been a little while since I've, I've used any of this great stuff before. So it looks like it's kind of turned out pretty good, um, you know, overall, um, you know, and, and afterwards you can kind of smooth it out um, as I was saying with, you know, with the side of your finger just to kind of blend it in and, uh, you know, make it look pretty good. And then when, you know, obviously when you paint the whole model under primer, um, you know, some of it's going to blend into the actual uh, color of the car and then the rest of it's going to be like the actual color of the flames. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. Uh, just going to do uh, another part to this uh, build. Um, actually, I'll be showing the whole uh, car video. Um, you know, once I get it all completed, I'll, I'll show you guys like a, a walkthrough on how, how the car um, turns out. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you an idea on like, how to actually uh, sculpt some flames. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by the channel. Have a great night.